Have you ever experienced organized chaos? Well, it happens here every day at Jimboree. It's a great place to bring your kids to learn how to get moving and a better place for moms to learn how to keep up with their little movers. The history of Jimboree is very simple. 32 years ago, a woman by the name of Joan Barnes started Jimboree in her basement. She had a child and wanted to find some way where she could keep her child entertained, have friends over, and work on their um, gross motor skills, fine motor skills, all of those kind of developmental things all at the same time. So why do you come to Jimboree? Oh, you know what, he has a blast. He loves the music, he loves the other kids, and it's Starting off with him, he was my first. Um, it was a really good chance to meet other moms in our neighborhood, and we just really enjoyed it. So this guy looks like he's pretty busy. Can you keep up with him? I can, I can, almost. But I have to, I have to run double time. He's a busy boy. <laughs> he's a boy. One is a hen. Yes, he is. We're here about three days a week with him, and I have a four-month-old who also participates. We've been doing this for a very long time and love it. He is usually asleep in the car before we even get home, but uh, in the mornings when we're coming, I can say to him, we're going to Jimboree, and the shoes go on, and he cheers, and he's ready to come. So how have you found Jimboree? For Emily. It's opened her up. She was shy, a little reserved, and now she's become more social, open to play and doing things. I'm just always after her, basically, because she's a climber. She's definitely a bit of a tomboy. So you're sitting down, you a little tired? <laughs> I am a little tired. <laughs> Why? I actually have uh, this child who's two and a half almost, and I have two twins at home who are seven months old, so... <laughs> You're laughing. Yeah. <laughs> so I would be crying. <laughs> so I'm a bit busy, but it's, it's great fun. So your hands are literally full. Yes. Yes. So <laughs> I was going to ask you about Jim Bree, but I'd rather ask you about how you keep up with these two little movers. Oh, boy. I, I, I honestly, I don't know. But places like this are a big help. Maybe it looks like chaos to some, but for me, this is my little piece of heaven. Right. You tired? All the time, all the time tired. <laughs> How old is your little? Searsha, she's five days. Five days? Yes. And you're a Jimboree? Yes. I wanted to make sure my older daughter could come and maintain her regular playtime, so Holy my son. husband's helping. <laughs> Any tips for keeping up with your little movers? Try to take rest whenever you can and uh, be healthy as you can and just try to pay attention to them and it, it works out. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's talking about. She's so sleep deprived I'm right tired. now. <laughs> I'm not sure anybody can actually keep up with an 18 to 24 month old child. You just have to match their energy. You just go. You just do what he does because he's in constant motion. Right.